why wine and hard liquors will cause acid reflux. Hi guys, it's Dr. Veronica Wax, naturopathic physician. I already pre-drew the picture of digestive tract. This is the mouse with the teeth. This is esophagus, low esophageal sphincter, L-E-S, stomach. At the end of the stomach, we have pilarus, is a valve, then small intestine, large intestine, and we go to the bathroom right here. Why vodka, tequila, rum or whiskey, or even wine may create an acid reflux? Here is, you need to understand um, a little bit anatomy and physiology. Our stomach lined by different kinds of cells. This cell, let's say, is cell that will produce hydrochloric acid, HCl. This cell is the one that will produce mucus called mucosal cell. This cell is chief cell and it's responsible for production of gastric lipase and pepsinogen. And let's say this one cell is a G cell. G stays for gastrin and it's gastrin producing cell. When we start to eat and drink hard liquor, such as vodka, tequila, rum, or whiskey, we start to produce hydrochloric acid, HCl. At the same time, mucosal cells will start to produce mucus. The purpose of this mucus is to protect the digestive tract or particular stomach from the damaging effect of hydrochloric acid. Unfortunately, alcohol will create the damage to this mucus. As a result, chief cells and G cells will get exposed to alcohol and become damaged. The damage is inflammation. I will abbreviate inflammation stays, inflam stays for inflammation. Once when you have an inflammation, several things will happen. Mucosal cells will start to produce even less mucus. The cells that produce hydrochloric acid may produce more hydrochloric acid, which is very unlikely. It's more likely they will start to produce less hydrochloric acid. The consequences of that. You need to know here two rules of physiology. Pilarus is the valve at the end of the stomach. will open and close only when there is adequate concentration of hydrochloric acid to digest protein. When you have enough hydrochloric acid to digest protein, Protein will be digested and it will become open and the food will go into small intestine, into large intestine and eventually out of the system. The second rule of physiology, the pilarus cannot stay closed or will, excuse me, will stay closed longer than one hour, 30 minutes if there is decreased production of hydrochloric acid. As a result, food and drinks that you just ate will stay here longer than one hour, 30 minutes. As a result, low esophageal sphincter will become weak and the pieces of the food with a little bit hydrochloric acid that is there will go into your esophagus and will create inflammation. So in the nutshell, what happened? Alcohol will damage muco mucus. As a result, inflammation sets in. As a result, you will produce less hydrochloric acid. Means that pilarus will stay closed. When pilarus stay closed longer than one hour, 30 minutes, low esophageal sphincter will become weak. Weakness in the low esophageal sphincter means food and hydrochloric acid will go into esophagus 
and will create burning sensation. Now, what you can do to prevent that? Prevention, step number one, never drink on empty stomach. Always eat first. And for, for the purpose of today, and I say that, salad is not your first choice of the food to protect the lining uh, and protect the mucosa from damaging effect of alcohol. If you plan to drink, make sure that you eat some kind of fatty food. What are the fatty foods? It's pork. It could be tablespoon of sour cream or even better, butter. What will happen? Fat will cover the digestive tract with protective layer or will act as a protective layer to enforce the mucus so the mucus is not going to be damaged by alcohol. So as a result, no damage, no inflammation, no all this pathway, no decreased production of hydrochloric acid, all of that will become normal. So the answer is, is eat first and make sure that it's some kind of very food. And that's Dr. Veronica Wax, naturopathic physician. Thank you guys for watching. Please ask me questions here. I love answering your questions. I'll post more videos on that. Okay. Thanks. Bye, guys.